Hello guys, welcome to Tim's Tiny Arcade, where today I am going to be showing three games that just got found and put on Atari Age, and that is Spiders, Hobo, and R2D Tank. A company called, let me look it up here, I got my phone here, UA uh, LTD was a company that made games, but uh, these games never hit the market. Um, the, the other games I have up there, Cat Tracks, Pleiades, and Funk Fish, were found in 2003. They surfaced as prototypes and were released by um, Atari Age also. I'll put a link where you guys can download these games. Um, I'll do a little gameplay on the three that were just found. And I'm playing on my Atari Flashback 9. So we're going to look at uh, Spiders, Hobo, and R2D Tank. Um, I'm on this site called uh, AtariProtos.com. It also says all these titles have now been found as production cartridges complete with boxes and uh, manuals. It appears that they were much closer to releasing these games than previously thought. So these are pretty well complete games. Um, let's just jump into Spiders real quick. I'll do a little gameplay on the last three real quick. So Spiders is an arcade game, and uh, I've actually covered this. All right, here we go. So this would have been, what, 83? So this game kind of plays like, I would say like Centipede, maybe a little bit like uh, Demon Attack or whatever. I'll just do a little gameplay on it. Now, there's, there's this red bar that starts at the bottom. Shoot, I got hit by that laser or whatever that is. Again, I got hit. That thing comes out fast. There's a red bar that up here at the bottom also. It kind of closes, and I think you die if it closes all the way. See how it's starting at the ends? There is some flicker in this game for sure. See, I don't know how you stop that red thing from closing. Because that's going to close now. Yeah, see, I don't know. I, di I don't understand that part of the game. This part of the gameplay is really fun here, though. Joystick and uh, controller is what we're playing with on this. You can just hold the button down. We'll go one more life here. I die, and I'll switch it over to another game. I just wanted to show some gameplay on each of these. Dang. All right. All right, so we are going to... I'm going to have to reset my thing here real quick. Because I'm actually using a controller, I can't just reset everything. So we'll go ahead and take a look at Hobo next. This is a game that um, has three levels. We'll see if I can get to the third level on it. <coughs> um, I've gotten to the third level uh, just messing around. But, uh, whoops, uh, let me get to my SD card here. All right, so we will do Hobo next. So the first part of this game is kind of like uh, Frogger or Freeway for the Atari. Um, you got to get across the road. Your guy kind of looks like Mario. There we go. I made it across. You can go left and right. So that's a little bit different than the Freeway. All right, the next part is kind of like a platformer Donkey Kong or something like that that kind of style so you got to avoid these guys go up the ladders but you have to pick up I believe all the stuff on the screen all right so like the luggage and stay right there I don't know if I can get to it before they come Oh, I'm dead. Now, I can't hop. I don't know if I can hop over them or not. Nope. Ah, all right. And so then they take you off. That luggage there or that money there is going to be tough to get because it's right at the edge. What I'm going to have to do, I think, is get to that ladder, maybe go down and come back. Hopefully. Mm, I got stuck. I didn't get up that ladder. <laughs> we'll try again. Ooh. 
Oof. Yeah, struggle, struggle, struggle. Looks like I got one more guy here. Nice. Okay. All right, so I got everything that time. I'll at least get to show you the third stage. I really don't know what to do on this stage yet. Um, so at least you'll get to see a little gameplay of the third stage here. So I've jumped before here and I've died and I've tried to go left and right. Uh, you can't go up. Well, I pushed up there and I died. Maybe, I don't know. And then a little cross comes up and you're dead. So let me know if you guys try this out and figure out, let me know what you have to do on this level. I've tried different things and haven't figured that one out. So let me go ahead and we're gonna reset it one more time and we are gonna play the tank game. This is another game that uh, kind of reminds me of, uh, if you've seen Super Tank in the arcade, um, very similar to that game. Um, looks like a pretty darn good, uh, uh, graphically I think it's pretty dang good compared to the arcade. I think it represents it very well. All right, so R2D Tank, we'll give that one a shot. Like I said, these were just found in 2024. That just blows my mind that we're still getting games. All right, so here we go. So you kind of got to pick up these dots. You can't go backwards. I'm getting points, as you can see there. I couldn't go back down there. Now I can shoot my tank. Mm. All right, got him. Now, you don't want to run into these, uh, what I just ran into. This probably would have been a fun two-player game. I don't know if it is two-player. Oh, I'm dead. Is that it? Yeah, and that's it. So anyway, that's a look at uh, the tank game. I didn't do very well on that one. But I just wanted to show gameplay on the three games. I will put a link in the description. And I had six games up there. And it'll take you to all six games if you guys are interested in getting those. Um, like I said, I'm playing on my Flashback 9. If you have a Harmony card or whatever, however you play, uh, you can get those ROMs and play them that way. So anyway, guys, I want to thank you for watching today's video. Um, if you like this kind of content, let me know in the comments. Give this video a like, and until next time, keep on gaming.